Muammar Gaddafi is dead. He's been dead for, I don't know, two days now. Maybe three. I wasn't going to talk about this because I have been doing this YouTube thing for a while, and I've kind of gotten a sense, I like to think I've gotten a sense, of what people care about, what they really care about. And uh, I just didn't sense it in the air about this. I just, I didn't feel the air of we give a fuck, you know? After Michael Jackson died, even the people who were like, who gives a fuck, just some singer, you could tell they gave a fuck. At least I could. I've, I've finally honed this skill, you know? It's how I got to be one of the top YouTubers, not anywhere near the very top. I'm not like those assholes like SXE Phil and Ray William Johnson who apparently just have a sixth sense for exactly what motherfuckers want to see. But I'm pretty damn good, and I knew that they cared about Michael Jackson. I knew that they cared about Justin Bieber. I, I mean, I, I knew they cared about some important stuff, too. I knew that that Sharon Osbourne clip with her talking about uh, stuffing that guy's penis in a garbage disposal, I knew that would incite people's ire. And when Sarah Palin got the VP nod in the 2008 election, I knew that was going to be a big deal before it became a big deal, just based on how people were reacting initially. I have a, a pretty good sense of when people give a fuck, and I don't think people really gave a fuck about Gaddafi being dead. But then when the videos surfaced of Gaddafi's final minutes on this earth, and you see this bloodied man, and he's begging for his life, uh, and all these people are around him beating him, there was this tonal shift that I noticed. And I noticed there were a lot of people all of a sudden were taking Gaddafi's side and saying, oh, the rebels are a bunch of barbarians, and oh, the, the U.S. is just interfering in the Middle East, and they only interfere because there's oil or there's gold or, you know, whatever. And uh, i just like to point out to everyone that this guy was a piece of shit who definitely deserved what happened to them. And this is me saying this. I want to point out that I'm the fucking guy who doesn't believe in the death penalty. I don't even believe in life sentences. I believe in rehabilitation. I believe in forgiveness for everyone, even serial killers, mass murderers, what have you. That's just who I am. And I still think this guy is a piece of shit who deserved what he fucking got. I mean, this guy did all the standard dictator shit, like killed his own people whenever they stepped one little toe out of line. But he also went above and beyond. I mean, he went so far as to say that people who had, uh, who had escaped his countries, refugees from his country living in other places, he said they should be killed. He sponsored terrorism all over the world. He was funding terrorist cells all across the planet. This is not some conspiracy theory. This is documented shit. And there's people who watch this tape, oh, look how brutal it is. Look how they, they had him alive, and then they killed him anyway, and they were beating him, and he was begging for mercy. You know what? Those people, some of them had lost mothers, fathers, sons, daughters to this guy's fucking regime. I mean, if you had lost a loved one, and you were faced with a man who did it, and you saw him begging you for mercy, would you grant it to him? Especially if you're in a giant mob, and, they all, and you all share that experience, and you have this motherfucker at your mercy after months and months of fighting, do you look at him and say, we're gonna give you a trial? What, what court system are they gonna try him in? The international court system? Bullshit. You try that motherfucker by putting a bullet in his head. Let history fucking decide whether or not you were right. I mean, this guy is responsible for thousands of deaths. Probably hundreds of thousands of deaths. Maybe even millions of deaths. Probably not, but maybe. And how many times do we get to kill him for all the lives he took? Just once. I mean, let's remember, this guy was in power for 42 years. For four decades of his life. He got to kill whoever he wanted to kill. He got to rape the women that he wanted to rape. He got to be in charge and have people around him kissing his ass and making him breakfast and anything else he fucking wants. That was his life for 40 years. And we're supposed to feel bad for him after all the stuff he did because he was treated badly in his last 20, 30 minutes of life? I'm sorry, but I don't fucking see it. I don't have any sympathy for the man. But probably the biggest reason why I support what happened to this guy is because when he supported the Iranian Cultural Revolution, he said that he couldn't wait to see what happened when the people got a hold of the Shah. 
because he knew that they were going to avenge all the injustice that had been done to them. And that's exactly what happened to him. Exactly the scenario that he prescribed for that situation transpired in his situation. So he has no right to complain about it, and of course he can't complain about it because he's fucking dead, and neither does anyone else.